This is Trigger King RC Monster Truck Competition Sport Mod Action 2024 season as we get into bracket number one. Taking a look at qualifying highlights, Chris Parrish with the number two and number three qualifying positions with Barefoot Racer and Equalizer, but leading the charge, it's the Black Pearl, Josh Rhodes. We've got a 27 truck lineup, nice big bracket here. So we've got a number of rounds of competition, but we're getting after the competition right now with the 16-17 matchup. Orange Thunder 2 and El Toro Loco Pink. This track surface is get back to that in a second but contact at the final corner coming onto the straightaway and El Toro Loco takes the win on the line it's Monster Patrol and JB Scale Graphics this surface tricky for the higher power trucks if you look out there you can see lots of marbles even JB Scale Graphics graciously throwing up some roost. You could see the dirt marbles flying up, making the track really loose. But where the trucks have been running, it's starting to clear out and it's really rough under there. And so it's like driving on a washboard. It's a very tricky surface for these trucks. We'll see who can master it the best today. Chandler in the Xbox truck, usually a favorite in big trouble in the far lane, but power down and making up for it, taking the win. I think that shows how tough this track can be. On the line, Buffalo Trimmer doing some dry hops, trying to clean off the surface as TMNT Andy Salerno waits on the line for the competition. Salerno with the 3D printed awesome looking TMNT turtle looking strong out there as Buffalo Trimmer all kinds of problems upside down and over ending his run. Aquabats Isaac Ankrum and Big A's wrecking Andy Salerno. Salerno with a big jump but Aquabats charging hard towards the first obstacle. These troops back and forth already. Salerno throwing up some roost at the camera, charging to the finish line. Wow, it was close. That was kind of a wild race, but Aquabats by an arm takes the win. Bigfoot destination, Bob Seed Chandler in the near lane. Rotten Apple two in the far lane. Welker, all kinds of trouble right from the start. Chandler should have an easy ride, but Welker still charging in the far lane. The truck rolled back onto its wheels, and so he's trying to make up some time, but Chandler doing just what it takes to win this race. Iron Aaron Janes and Chain Reaction, the number seven qualifier, and Awesome Kong, Troy Hawes, the number 26 qualifier. Right now, Awesome Kong in trouble as Chain Reaction in the lead, but oh, a huge mistake for Chain Reaction. Kong closes the gap, but then makes his own mistake and Chain Reaction squeaks that one out. Iron Outlaw, Michael Spurlock, he's been looking strong so far as a newcomer to Trigger King and the Punisher, Fred Kors in the far lane. Punisher off to a lead. Outlaw takes the lead back, coming through the second corner over the tabletop into the final corner. Iron Outlaw wins this one. Uh, 
Welker on the line with his second Rotten Apple truck, but not Rotten Apple 2. This is Rotten Apple. And Chris Hackinson with his other El Toro, El Toro Loco Zombie. Hackinson all over this loose surface. Welker holding the lead smooth and steadily. Oh, in colossal showmanship fashion. Hackinson crosses the line in a giant wheelie, but that doesn't get wins in Trigger King RC competition. Batman, Troy Haas, the wild looking piece debuted for the 2024 summer season. And the incredible Taurus, always one of the most beautiful trucks on the scene from Jeremy Mark. Mark in a little bit of trouble in the far lane. Awkwardly, oh wow. Torres trying to make up some ground after issues in the second half of the track. We're taking a look at the replay. See Torres all mixed up, then hammer down charging, but Batman all out of shape, or the final obstacle. I think we've got offsetting penalties, and so I, there you see it, offsetting penalties, and the first one to the line takes it, and by a tire, Batman ekes that one out. Snakebite, Michael Spurlock, and King Kong, Chris Lane. Bonsai jump for Lane in the near lane of that first obstacle. A tricky obstacle with the speed that the trucks will be carrying, but Lane trying to make up ground. He's charging hard. Spurlock, go, oh, yes. He gets it done. Round number two of action, the top of the bracket. This will be the first time we see Black Pearl, our fast qualifier, Josh Rhodes, and Pink El Toro Loco from Chris Hackinson. Rhodes off to a big jump, but awkwardly over the first obstacle, and Hackinson's right there in Pink Pearl Loco. Sales are set as Black Pearl sails into round number three. Xbox Bigfoot on the line and Monster Patrol. Mike Bufka, the incredible custom built tube chassis piece against Chandler and his Clodbuster based ACRC Chaos chassis. Perennial winner on the circuit. And looking good here as Xbox takes the round victory. <laughs> Josh Rhodes with Bigfoot 8, the number four qualifier, and Andy Salerno with TMNT, the number 20 qualifier. Two very different approaches to the first obstacle. Salerno with a huge charge. Bigfoot 8 in trouble, and ladies and gentlemen, this is an upset. Salerno with a little bit of issue with the Ninja Turtle, but no harm, no foul. He gets it done, takes the victory, and moves on. On the line now, Aqua Bats, Isaac Ankrum, the number 12 qualifier, and Roadhog, Aaron James. Aquabats with a little bit of a jump, but James and Bonsai over the first obstacle. They're neck and neck in the second, in the second turn. Both trucks a little bit out of shape. James looking a little bit better off. And we have contact across the line. Aquabats, that's going to be a disqualification for crossing the line and hitting the competitor. So James moves on. Equalizer, the number two qualifier. First time on the track in this bracket, and the number 18 qualifier, incredibly, Bob C. Chandler and Bigfoot Destination. These two consummate competitors on the track. 
Equalizer off to the lead. Oh, Equalizer's lost a wheel. He's charging to the finish line. Oh, no. Wow. Equalizer trying to limp it to the finish line. Chandler charging, crosses the lane and hits the competition, disqualifying himself. Equalizer wins with three wheels. On the line now, wow. Chain reaction, the number seven and the number 10, Iron Outlaw. Chain's off to a lead, great turn in the second turn by Spurlock, closing the gap. Who can get the power down? Chain reaction, slides and swerves down the final straightaway to the win. The number three qualifier, Barefoot Racer, Chris Parrish and Rotten Apple, Doug Welker. The number 14 qualifier. Barefoot with a huge jump off of the line. Holding the lead, oh, but the truck pushes wide in the far corner, missing the tabletop, charging to catch up. But nothing doing as Rotten Apple takes advantage of the situation and gets the win. Our final pair in round number two of competition, the number 27 qualifier, Batman Troy Haas, and the number 22 qualifier, Snakebite Michael Spurlock. Two lower seeds that won their bracket in round number one. Spurlock off to the lead, holding steady. But Spurlock, nice and smooth, moves into round number three as the number 22 qualifier. Round number three of action, and we are starting off with a clash of titans. Black Pearl, the number one qualifier, and number nine, Xbox Bigfoot. Both trucks hammer down off the starting line. Chandler off to a lead down the second straightaway. And Black Pearl overdrives the second corner. Chandler just has to get it to the finish line. And Xbox moves to the semifinals. Number 20, TMNT, Andy Salerno, and Roadhog, the number five qualifier, Aaron James. James looking pretty solid on this track out here today. He seems to kind of have it figured out on this weird, loose, and rough surface. Salerno, a little bit of a bobble going into the tabletop. Now more trouble in the second or third corner. Aaron James, Roadhog, taking the road to the victory. Equalizer, the number two qualifier, and chain reaction. Aaron, right back on the line. Equalizer with a little bit of a lead. James, very fast down the straightaway, but Equalizer opens up a lead again. Jane's in trouble, both trucks in trouble. Equalizer recovers. Janes hits the turn marker up and over, keeping all of the wheels on, spinning around for style, and just being a jerk, crossing the line backwards. Equalizer wins round number three. Snakebite, Michael Spurlock, and Rotten Apple, Doug Welker. Our final pair in round number three. The winner goes to the semifinals. This truck's looking good. Welker with the lead. Spurlock, incredible. An incredible drift around the final corner. Hammered down and the snake sinks his fangs into the apple. Semi-final action, the final four. We've had some wild races so far. What do we have in the final four? Number five, Roadhog, and number nine, Xbox. Xbox off to the lead, but once again, Aaron James charging and just 
blitzing that first obstacle. He's off to a leap. He's got Chandler on his hip. Oh, extra wide. Wow. Oh, it's a mess. Both trucks all out of shape, but Chandler with a penalty over the final obstacle. The win goes to Roadhog. He moves to the finals. Who's going to join him? Equalizer, Chris Parrish, the number two qualifier, or the number 22 qualifier, Michael Spurlock, who's been charging through this bracket. Equalizer off to the lead. Looking strong in the far lane. Equalizer moves to the finals. The brand new white and blue Equalizer body from Mean Duck RC faces off against Roadhog Aaron Janes. This could be a really good battle. Two ACRC Havoc chassis on the line. Parrish off to the lead, but the truck kicks and spins out into the first corner. All kinds of issues. The truck out of shape on this loose surface. Trying to make up ground often leads to more mistakes, and that is not something that Aaron Janes made in this race. Janes, looking smooth and solid, takes the Sport Mod Bracket 1 victory. James seems to really have this track and this surface figured out as it's got a lot of other drivers just perplexed. We'll see if he can carry the momentum into bracket number two as we take a look at points competition and the standings for the top 12 right now. We've got more Trigger King action coming. Make sure to join us for our second bracket of Sport Mod competition. We'll find out who wins the day overall. We've got more exciting action. We appreciate you joining us as always. We'll catch you next time.